polishing cutlery. You've heard the expression that guests eat with their eyes first. Believe it or not, this doesn't start when a dish is placed in front of them. It starts the minute they walk into a dining area. This means that if the cutlery placed on the table is dull, or even worse, dirty, they'll most likely be put off their food before even tasting it. When it comes to polishing cutlery, the most important thing to understand and to keep in mind is that the cutlery will be going into the guest's mouth and therefore needs to be spotlessly clean, hygienic and free from fingerprints. Fingerprints are proof that someone's naked fingers touched the cutlery and immediately tell your guests that no care was taken in preparing your cutlery. So, to ensure that cutlery will be beautifully polished, there are nine steps to follow. Step 1. Wash your hands thoroughly. Also make sure that your nails are clean. This limits bacteria or dirt being transferred from your hands to the cutlery. Step 2. Clean the surface with an all-purpose cleaner. The surface on which you will be working must be clean so that dirt and bacteria aren't transferred from the table or counter to the cutlery. Step 3. Fetch your equipment. You'll need two service cloths for polishing, a lined tray to place your beautifully polished cutlery onto, a container of boiling water and some white vinegar. Step 4. Add one capful of white vinegar to the boiling water. The white vinegar is what adds sparkle and shine to the cutlery. Make sure that you find out from your manager whether you use vinegar at your establishment, as it may damage some metals such as silver. Step 5. Check each piece of cutlery before you polish it. If it is dirty, send it back to the scullery. If it is damaged, broken or in a very poor condition, take it out of your stock and tell your manager immediately. By doing this, you will make sure that the damaged item doesn't make its way onto your guest's table, but your manager will also be able to replace it as soon as possible. Step 6. Dip the cutlery into the vinegar solution. Step 7. Polish the cutlery with the service cloth. Hold the cutlery with the cloth to make sure your fingers never touch the cutlery after you have polished it. This will put your fingerprints onto the beautifully clean item of cutlery, undoing all of your careful work. You can hold the cutlery up to the light to better check for fingerprints. Step 8. Once polished, place the cutlery onto the lined tray. Remember to use a service cloth when placing the cutlery to prevent getting your fingerprints onto the item. And lastly, step 9. Store the cutlery in the appropriate, clean storage area. Remember that whenever you are carrying newly polished cutlery, it should always be carried on a tray, which has been lined with a clean service cloth, whether you are packing it away or taking it out to your guests. To better remember the nine steps, try selecting keywords from each step to remember. For example, Step 1. Wash hands. Step 2. Clean surface. Step 3. Fetch equipment. Step 4. Add vinegar. Step 5. Check damage. Step 6. Dip. Step 7. Polish. Step 8. Place. And step 9. Store. Make sure you memorize the 9 steps before moving on to the next lesson. Good luck! <laughs>